what's happening on back my computer decided to do a giant poop on itself I don't know why it hasn't done this for like six months it's just this weird thing that happens occasionally to some u Windows users where it just like the sound fucks up the keyboard turns off and you have to restart I don't know what causes it um, because I know other people have had the same issue. Well, oh, I can just hear Oogloo's like quotes very quietly in the background. Uh, let's just build some towers. Um, or not. <laughs> oh, let's not build some towers. So yeah, I'm a little bit in a different spot from when I st last left off. Um, I was lucky it auto-saved. Or I would have been fucked. <laughs> uh, there was a while back I lost a save and had to replay like three missions. And that was just... It was, it was not exactly what I wanted to happen. Um, you guys just kill them. Um, I guess I can leave all that for now. <coughs> oh. So yeah, we, we we got a little fucked over, but um, it's fine. Like, uh, I'll I'll just save. <laughs> it wasn't Biff me crashing. My whole computer just shit the bed for a second. It's happened to me once <laughs> before. Once, and I asked someone that actually knows what they're doing about it, and apparently it's just this thing with Windows 10. No, don't press Q! And don't go near the walls because they just fucking kill you. Yeah, you're level 2. You should have. Uh, shit. Um, I need the money to be able to actually, like, destroy the... Uh, do shit. Hang on. Oh, that will... That gives you so much money, yet it goes so quickly. Stop pressing Q like an idiot! Um, are you guys just gonna stand there, or, you know, actually do something? Yeah, I got asked about, like, the view. I have a fix for it. The connection's link in the description if people want. It's, um, you just have to apply, like, drag two files into, um, the Biffme files, and it fixes it. I could never get it to work, and I never could work out why, and turns out... What I did wrong was I only added one of them. Oh, you have to add both. Or it doesn't work. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty, like, useful. And it means I can play the Elven Alliance mod without fucking having shit zoom when I play it again. Because it works for, like, just with me in general. I thought the HD edition did it automatically, but apparently not. Furnace, 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 furnace. Just all furnace. <laughs> I don't bother with slaughterhouses because they give you discounts for walk riders. But furnaces give you discount for upgrades, which is like so much more useful. Because like, I don't know, upgrades are fucking expensive. <laughs> That's... Oh. I really need to stop pressing Q. I, I know how to like hotkey things and like group control groups and stuff, I just, in campaign, I just really do not bother. Um, I guess we'll do that, and you can get yeeted. Now I can use Q, because just send them all in. Um, do that. Uh, I won't be able to build a whole lot of units. Why do they get spawns, like, like, fucking summons with fire arrows. Why the fuck? That's that's not fair. That's an eye. It's right, not the right thing. That's why you do all f you do all resource buildings down there. But like, oh yeah, I always forget that you can like upgrade a building to level two, and it's that's that's. That's pretty useful. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the amount of times, like, in Biff Me One, where I was like, haha, I have to build units and kill them. Um, I think if you go over here, you can, like, 
Loot the treasures of the dead kings. Kill the Lady Eowyn. That's a bit, um... That's a bit harsh. Um, yeah, once you get past, like, the bottom bit, it's pretty much smooth sailing from there. Oh. If you don't, like, run past the fucking... God, the pathfinding in Biff Me One sometimes is just... just... fucking shit. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna loot shit. Yeah! I don't know how much money a game, I did not even look. 130. Yeah. Alright, go back. Or just fucking... chill... there. Just... just let them come to you. Oh! Oh! I don't like him, but sure. Like, I don't like that guy. <laughs> As a hero, he's always been trash. Like, always been a trashy hero. He just gets gets killed. That's all he's done for me. I think he gives decent buffs to your war riders, but... Well, you guys are just shit. Go over there. Yeah. I'm just gonna, like, throw big things at their wall. Can I? Oh, no. Wait. No. <laughs> I thought I thought that would be a little cheap. Oh, cool. Um, let's tip that for now. They only take up like five command points, which honestly, that is like pretty good. Um. Oh, he uh, summons war riders, leadership, and rage. Cool. And you have to have him on his walk. Which makes sense, but oh yeah, it's just just yeet things at a wall. Yeah, all right, we've upgraded the brick pit. Yeah, just oh, kill them. You can send peasants at me all you want. It's not gonna really stop me doing anything. Oh. Um. Well, I built pikemen. If they didn't have pikes, I would be annoyed. Yeah. This is how you just yeet a base. I can't believe you can't get, like, the bombs yet. You don't get them till, um, Elder State, which makes sense, but... Well, actually, if you want to be real logical about it, it was never said in the books exactly what they used to blow up the Deeping Wall. They actually tried going through, like, the little tunnel first and then got sent back and then they blew it up. So the movies were like, oh, well, we have to make something on screen to... Why are you moving closer? Oh, Jesus, just do that. They're just like, alright, dead. Yep. Alright, any more trees around? To, you know, knock over? Wow, the eco in this is, like, ridiculous at times. Yeah, I, I really don't want to just march in there and get screwed. See, I can never, like, see if they're actually got the armor on or not. The armor does not change. I don't know if that's the HD edition not working, or the Blue Wizard mod not working properly, or just nothing's been done. Yep. Just keep, just keep fucking sending. <laughs> oh, just like smash it. Don't you try it. I have so much money. I could just build like five of them, kill them off. Actually, can you delete units? In no, you can't. I, I know, like, in Biff Me 2, you can, like, decommission units. Personally, I never actually use it. Actually, if I sit here, and if they kill fucking anyone, she'll get money for it, too. Oh, sh Jesus, guys. 
I like how they have axes and shit now. It just looks so much better. HA Edition, actually, like, there's a really big difference in the H uh, HD Edition. Like, not. Biff Me 2, it wasn't a huge jump. Because it kind of already looked a lot better. But. Oh, come on. That's just not. It's so slow. So, see how much you can destroy it. Oh! Oh! Do you have to move that close? That's kind of irritating. <laughs> I know sometimes, like, the pathfinding in Biff Me 1 can be a bit like, hey, I'm not doing that. Oh. <laughs> like, old RTS. Uh, oh, wow, they actually got it down. Oh, well. Oh god. They just ripped that apart. Come on. Wow, they are tanky now. I remember them not being that tanky at all. Like, <laughs> that was not a thing. Uh, guys? God. <laughs> okay, um... I guess we'll do that. Yeah, Shagrat. Do we get to keep him, or do we have to build him every fucking level? Because that would be odd. Oh! Oi! Oi! Click! There we go. Yeah, eat shit. Oh god, okay. Shagrat, no! Shaku, that's his name. Shagrat is someone else. What am I doing? Yeah, you guys can just... Yep, do that. I guess... Um, this is not how you meant to do this at all. Just move back! Oh. Um, pick your lines. Oh. Damn! Uh, one of them, one of them, one of them. Yeah, they are definitely not going to be nice about this. Sharat's like, fucking dead. Maybe I should build some, like, walks to go with him. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow, indeed. Ooh. Do that. I know, like, Lurts can do it, but it's just like, why not? Oh, just kill them. Oh, oh. I really like. Oh God. Uh, that, 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 that. That, I can just, like, rebuild the army at the end. Like I normally do. Oh. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is not how you do this level at all. Like, it's just not working <laughs> out for me at all. Um, where's Sharky go? What are you doing? I like how they're purple now. That's definitely an interesting... I think the HD edition actually did that. I should have played the HD edition, like, on its own first to, like, know what's HD edition and what's not. I know HD edition didn't make gameplay changes at all. They just made things look good. To my knowledge, anyway. I believe they didn't. They have so many arrow towers and shit. This is like... This mission's never been particularly difficult. Like, it's not like, super hard. 
It's more just probably at the level of mildly annoying. And I can't spawn shit in there. Just everything with arrow towers take them out. Shaku's just running shit. Shaku is the worst hero ever. Fucking hate him. Could drop dead for all I care. Oh my god, like, clicking to attack things is just not working at the moment. They run off before I could do it. Oh god. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. Go over there. You guys go up here. Nah, you, you go back. Because you're going to die any second now. That comes back really quick. Considering what it does. Um. Wow. Okay. Go over here. It's like money's definitely not an issue. But. People dying's an issue. Um. Where the fuck? Um. I'm just gonna like. Put my army back up down here. Because it's taking forever. And I just keep losing units before I can <laughs> get them back. Oh. Wow. Yeah, there's really not that much in it. It just looks daunting because of how big it is. It's actually not that bad. There's probably not many more buildings than, like, what a standard fortress would have. It's just big. <laughs> I remember once I actually tried killing each, like, all of these, like, little buildings too. They don't count for the achievement, but... Or the bonus objective, but, like, it's a good way to get money. But it's kind of te- it took, like, a really way too long. Considering by this point you probably have money anyway, it doesn't really matter. Oh! Oh! Oh. Yep. They're gonna probably die soon. <laughs> um, that one, that one, that one. What the hell? What are you doing? Oh. Um, probably kill them. Don't hit Q. Q doesn't help. It's how you lose everyone. Oh. Yeah, uh, probably go over here because those guys are dropping like flies. Yeah, they do. Yeah, uh, I definitely need more units. <laughs> Half my army is dead. Money's not an issue. Oh. Alright. Probably... Oh, let's just get your fucking sword out. Okay. So I lost pretty much my entire army. So the whole naming thing went out the window. <laughs> That's what's really irritating about it. Like, I haven't seen anyone play through the evil campaign and keep their units. Like, easily. Did, did I say do that? No, I did not. You two are mental. Lurch, it didn't even exist in the books. Oh, they did. He didn't. That's that's true. <laughs> they made him for the movies, and it wasn't the worst decision, in all honesty. Like it worked, but there are counterpoints for that. Like, uh, it kind of meant like every time a character died, you were like, oh hey, 
has to be killed by an evil main character, or they're not gonna die. <laughs> like, most of the deaths in Lord of the Rings are just, like, off-screen shit. They're just explained as happened off-screen. Oh! I am kind of trapped. And I can't do that. Uh... Yeah. Well, oh well. They're not even trying to go down there. Oh, that would do. I'll just build the rest in a minute. Ow. Big Luke, where are you? I will say that having Ooglug is like, like, I don't know, like he's, he feels like a copy of Lurtz but a little bit better, because he has the heal, which makes him honestly just that little bit better. But like, I don't know, it just feels strange. But it's cool to have him. But honestly, like, what would you give him that was different, like, Realistically, for fuck's sake, that thing is really irritating. Shoot these guys, they don't matter. Um, alright. Alright, get your fucking men out. Alright, no, don't, don't select all. God. Those new heroes level up ridiculously fast. Or am I, is that just like in my head? Because like... Ooglu leveled up like way quicker. But they've kind of like leveled out in the end. I don't know. Let's well, has the bow though. So like... They're not so similar it's irritating. But like it's definitely... Somewhat, like, it does feel like a weird carbon copy, but as I, like, kind of stated, what else could you do to really set them apart? And, like, it made sense to have Lurts in uh, the game instead of Ooglu, because the, realistically, the, um, 5 one is based off the films, it's, like, pretty much. And then Biff Me Too was based off the books, the set in the war in the north, which was not really shown on screen in any way from memory, I don't think so. And if it did, it would have made no sense because like the elves came from Lothlorien to like help at Helm's Deep and that never happened. Because they kind of would have been like, BUSY! Alright, go down here. No! Fuck! Ah! Oh, I had pretty much a full army. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was irritating. Ah. Oh, 23 minutes. Oh. Yep. <laughs> I told them not to attack it. Fucker. Jesus. I don't even remember A1 being in it. I I legit don't remember <laughs> dying or anything. 50 command points. Jesus. See? All dead. All dead. Isengard Berserker? I did build them, I just don't remember them being there. 450. Wow! <laughs> Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now. Warrior, build me an army worthy of Mordor. Look at that, it's the end of the video. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. We're trying to reach 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Help me make this true. I do enjoy making this content, but it does take time and, rec time and money to record this content. So even if you have a dollar to spare for a month, become a patron, become the family. You'll get a free game per month, a private Discord server separate from my main one.
and you get a shout out at the end of each video. Right, like, subscribe, share the love. Thank you all.